From previous studies, we know that women have a higher prevalence for intracranial aneurysms among those who smoke. Therefore, we wanted to identify the most cost-effective screening strategy for these patients since this has never been investigated before. We sought to investigate this topic by conducting a decision analytical study to explore the most cost-effective screening strategy for female smokers. We used the Markov model to compare different screening strategies to no screening in order to identify the most optimal screening strategy for the female smokers. Data for the model was extracted from the literature. In brief, our results confirm that all screening strategies improve health outcomes and increase cost when compared to no screening. We also found that screening at younger ages brings more health benefits at lower cost. Frequent screening strategies were also found to decrease the rupture rate of aneurysms along with higher cost per quality adjusted life years or quali. Finally, Screening after the age of 70 and screening at least every two years after age 60 is not optimal. Overall, our findings demonstrate that we can enhance efficiency in delivering optimal care through improving asset allocation. We identified the patients in which providing extra follow-ups would be redundant in terms of cost effectiveness. Therefore, by transferring this to the patients in greater need, we can improve our overall care to female smokers harboring intracranial aneurysms. I would like to thank Mira Sali and Mohammed Salim for their statistical analysis in this study and Justin Moore for his clinical input and consultation.